letting us give you an update on the uh, Lebanon County LED signal upgrade. Um, as of uh, November of this of this past month, we actually got word that we received our grant for two hundred and ninety-two thousand dollars as part of this PA conservation works program. And if you remember, I know we came to visit you guys in August <coughs> and submitted this application uh, with the understanding that there would be a 10% match of $34,800 uh, that we were looking to use most likely through either MPO funds or liquid fuels money. And this project is directed at making LED upgrades to uh, 33 traffic signals throughout 10 municipalities. As so I brought Sherry Grimbine, who has been some of our lead champion uh, on this project, I was through a lot of her direction and input from the municipalities that really helped us identify this need and make sure that we could uh, uh, you know, get the resources that were available through this program to direct it to make these upgrades. And ultimately in the packet that I include you had information on some of the energy savings that this is looking at. It's roughly about $86,000 annually in energy savings that we would see from these LED upgrades. So. What's the life expectancy of that? Uh, compared to an incandescent bulb, normally you change out bulbs, especially red and green bulbs would be uh, annually, they will burn out. Um, the life expectancy of disease is supposed to be about seven times, between seven times and ten times greater than the average incandescent bulb. So, and also the availability of making the LED upgrades also allows you to explore other equipment um, that you otherwise couldn't use. Um, I know North Lebanon is looking at some preemption equipment or battery backups for their signals. And if you have a regular incandescent bulb, it draws too much power for you to be able to have those kind of uh, um, resources. Yeah. Time frame for completion. We're, we're looking at the, our grant actually, I think it's what, middle of, of 2011. It, they have us on a pretty tight time frame in terms of getting this executed and then getting the project underway, but we're looking at, at within a matter of months starting to, to go out and, and begin trying to make some of these upgrades, and we'll be coordinating with the municipalities on, yeah. on how those upgrades are well, done. Number of I'd like to first thank the commissioners for allowing, uh, for providing your support to this project, <coughs> and for Tom and John for uh, putting it together, and I mean, it was a lot of work and coordination between all the municipalities, and I believe you had 100% um, participation and support from all the municipalities in a very short period of time that uh, he received that and also all the additional information that he had to gather from each one of us to to include with the grant so I just thank you by doing these well at this at this point these are the remaining signals that were identified as still needing um, you know upgrades to tell okay. the other the answer to the question is yes yeah. yeah. Those that don't have it will get it. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, just one other question. Looking for numbers, you said that you were also going to be, they're also going to be converting the uh, pedestrian uh, lights in, in, in the city. Uh, any idea how many there are? Can you yeah. put a number on that? Yeah, we have it. It's, in fact, it's a boatload. It's, I think it's somewhere in the range of about 700. Yeah, I was going to say 700 to 750. And what are the municipalities, the 10? Uh, Bethel, Myerstown, Mill Creek, North Lebanon, South Lebanon, West Cornwall, West Lebanon, the city, North Cornwall, and Heidelberg. He, uh, an LED yeah, bulb is really more or less uh, a bulb with individual um, diodes, which are actually what makes it energy it's efficient. So there's, yeah, it's like a, yeah, that's the best term is, is like a light bright. You have a bunch of little bulbs, and over time, compared to an incandescent bulb, when it would reach a certain point, it would just burn out, and that would be just like a regular you know, light bulb. Whereas an LED over time, you know, a number of the diodes may start to fail, but you'll still have, um, you'll still be able to know that it's green. There may be a, a hole in the signal where it uh, starts to fail, but it's much more identifiable. than. doing is with those savings, we're looking at trying to um, put that money towards the preemption devices. Uh, which Ebenezer Fire Company has been asking for for several years now. But yeah. We had to do the LED yeah. conversion uh -huh. before we could do cool. the preemption. The light was like actually um, wired for preemption devices uh -huh. uh, when we had uh, installed the, the light several years ago. Uh, we were just waiting now for the LED conversion so that we could do the preemption for the fire company to help them get in and out of that intersection a lot easier. So for the second. All in favor say aye. 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 A